like feel it in, like if I'm answering, I'll feel, hear my voice and I'll be like, it'll feel untruthful to me in that moment. Give even though it's Give us an kind. example of something that you're saying and how you sound. Um, What's the situation? God, I'm trying to think of a situation. Um, it's calm. Like, um, maybe I'll have some pressure from, from someone to, to, that something needs to get done and it's over the top and it's unkind and I'll just make it okay. Something needs to get done like what? Um, like they want, um, they're frustrated that, that, um, God, I'm trying to think of an example. Um, a teacher is taking up too much space or too much time or something and, and it's, it's, it doesn't need to get done. You know, and it's not appropriate, but I'll just make it all okay and make it smooth on all sides. And it's not, I'm the one that's perpetuating the problem. I'm holding it in place by running around making it work well, for everybody. You can't perpetuate a problem when you feel good. Yes. So let's take one of those marble games and what is it you're putting in the middle of it? What is it that you're feeling and why? It's good. Um, I'm feeling. That I need to, I guess I'm saying it again, but need the important thing is not to be truthful, but to make everyone okay or something. I'm doing. Don't get off in the weeds. Just okay. try to feel what the emotion is. What's the emotion? What's the emotion? I feel ineffective, or I feel. It might be an issue that comes up a lot of times. If someone's talking, I feel like, well, that's absolutely not the truth. But I don't say that it's not the truth. I just kind of try to say, hey, we won't do this again. <laughs> But I, it would feel better just to say, I don't think that's what... You're, can, you can just talk to me. You can tell well, me the truth. Almost everybody that you are going to encounter, whether it's a higher up that's trying to get you to manage things better, or whether it's someone that you're trying to uplift, whether it's a student that you're wanting to help, or whether it's someone that's trying to guide or mentor you. It doesn't matter who it is. Whoever you are interacting with has... A perspective of you an active bag of marbles about you and boy doesn't it bug you when they don't know what they're talking about when they misunderstand you yes but you know what you can't do anything about somebody that misunderstands you because it's their point of attraction the way they feel about you probably doesn't have that much to do with you their teacher in kindergarten was in menopause and hated everybody including those kids and they've been carrying that bag of marbles around for a really long time and so the way that they are responding to you it really isn't any of your business and yet because most people don't have control over their marbles most people didn't put them in there deliberately most people aren't calibrating them to the clarity and the love and the source of their inner being so most people are running around with a bag of marbles and then somebody else comes in the room and they've got a bag of marbles and when these things that are active in both bag of marbles light up then you have a less than satisfying experience and that is exactly what we mean when we say most humans are calibrating to other humans well, why wouldn't you really? You're a peacemaker. You're a lover. You want people to feel better about themselves. Let's put it right there. In the center of your marble game that you're playing, you're saying, I'm a wuss. I give in. I give in to what they want. I just let whatever they're saying and what they're doing be all right. And I feel what? I feel what about that? I feel like I'm what? Mamby pamby. You know, just let, you I not feel like I'm not uh, being true to myself. Yes. So there it is. So now let's, the 12 marbles are around the edge. And we're reaching for some existing, already existing, good feeling things to focus upon. I like to uplift people. I like to be of advantage to people. I like to be an example of alignment that other people might learn from or mimic. I like to know people. I like to understand people. I like to be with people. I like to help people. I like to be of value. I know that I am of value. I like to do a good job. I like to feel good. Every bit of that is true. And every bit of that was easy for you to reach. And every bit of that is now what's active. And the other isn't active right now. So if each time, or half the time, or every now and again, 
you find yourself feeling something like that then play this game until you've shored yourself up with things that match what your inner being knows you to be because you can't focus on a problem and a solution at the same time so you just found a problem and 12 solutions you just found a question and 12 answers you just shored yourself up with all that you are and what you're going to begin to notice you won't have to play that game very long before you'll have different conversations with people the people that have made you feel that way really a lot they won't come around because they're not getting back from you what they're used to getting back from you you might even begin to hear oh he's changed he's changed I don't know he's changed yeah he's changed Esther called someone the other day because she was worried about something and she called somebody her daughter to try to get her daughter to worry with her <laughs> she wouldn't do it she Abrahamed her <laughs> it was so annoying it was so annoying yeah but yeah but you don't understand it's this and this and this she still wouldn't do it how annoying how annoying it took Esther a little while to realize that she was trying so hard to get Tracy to understand that she should also feel this way a way that didn't feel good what so she said well I can see I'm not gonna get any sympathy from you <laughs> Esther knows better but in the moment when the law of attraction is answering what you've got active you're blind to everything else you can't see anything else and some bright shiny person comes along and they're all lit up they don't jive you don't even want them around do you <laughs> and so there you are all day every day in an environment where there are people that really want think that they want you to understand where they are when you know that your work is about something altogether different and that brings us to oh, this is so important what humans and we don't mean all of you we just mean most of you <laughs> think is now is old news what's now is what's in this vortex but you don't want that to be now because it hasn't manifested yet and so since you can't yet see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it it feels future over here but it is vibrationally now and it's where the larger part of you is and so there's this tension that goes on with humans about no it's like this it's like this it's like this and what keeps most of you from getting what you really want whether it's relationships or money or recognition or happiness or anything what keeps people from getting that is that they keep explaining where they are when where they are is a different vibration than where they want to be and that is the best definition of arguing for your limitations that we could ever conjure explaining what is is arguing against what you're asking for isn't that good to know and yet you got to face reality somebody's got to do the work right right somebody's got to do it somebody's got to be the responsible one somebody's got to be here oh yeah you can be all light and fluffy and airy and fairy and you can be off doing all the things and you can be that rich person that never has to do anything but somebody's got to do the work that's how Esther argues for her limitations somebody's got to do it somebody's got to do it yeah there are a whole lot of people that are ready to do that that want to do that you shouldn't be arguing for the limitations especially when they don't feel good when they don't feel good you're arguing against yourself every time every time one of the things that Esther says to Jerry when she's writing with him she writes and he writes back she receives it's quite cool and one of the things that she explains to him on a pretty regular basis is I'm noticing this and we like that because when you notice something it means it's active so when you notice something just ask yourself as I'm noticing this how does it feel because if you notice it and it's not feeling good that means your inner being has a whole different perspective about it you are supposed to feel good you're supposed to be really enjoying this life experience that's what you planned and you want so much to feel that way but you won't let yourself feel that way until you can help everybody else feel that way it's like why should I get to be happy this world's jacked up 
Why should I get to be happy? There's hardship. Esther talks about man's inhumanity to man. She can hardly stand it. But what is your attention to that going to do for that? It's going to perpetuate it because you get what you think about. Whether you want it or not, you get what you think about. Somebody said, Abraham, we think you teach selfishness. And we say, guilty, we do. We teach selfishness because if you're not selfish enough to ask for things that feel good, then you're not asking for alignment. You're not asking for empowerment and you don't have anything to give anybody anyway. You can't get sick enough to help sick people get well. You can't get impoverished enough to encourage prosperity with anyone. Your confusion doesn't bring clarity. You got to bring yourself out of the chaos first, one marble at a time. And it's not hard. It's not hard. You just got to give up your habits of thought. And you know why you're reluctant to give up your habits of thought? Because you've been thinking you were right all this time. And you know why you think you're right? Because you keep proving it to yourself again. I knew that would happen. I knew that was going to happen. I saw that coming. That doesn't surprise me. That's who that person is. And so you just keep getting what you don't want by your attention to what you don't want. And we're not suggesting at all that as you look into what's going on in your life, that you're looking only at what you don't want. There's a whole lot that you do want. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next